Next generation internet connectivity, 5G, is really hitting the real world later this year and the US is said to be the first country to start rolling out the new service. But South Korea isn't far behind. Sherry Kang checks out Samsung Electronics Digital City at the company's headquarters. This is what could be a city street of the future. Doesn't look much different from a normal street, but it's the new 5G technology that could change how we live. We're actually where uh, Samsung Electronics is calling Digital City, and uh, we're here to uh, check out their 5G network and uh, the practicality of a 5G network business. And I'm glad to tell you that we've got uh, Ujun Kim, a senior VP of a Samsung Electronics network business, uh, joining me right here on Digital City. And uh, you're going to explain to us what this is all about. Yes. So what is it all about? So. 5G is about really, it's the next generation wireless technology and it is aimed at connecting everything in the world. Smart cities require a lot of sensors, cameras, TVs, digital screens like this connected to the world. And what this enables you to do is you can very quickly deploy smart city devices into wherever you want to do it. For example, we have eight CCTV cameras here set up. We also have tons of IoT sensors, and we've got over 20 sensors and units here in 50 meters by 50 meters square area. So it's about connecting those CCTV surveillance cameras, mm -hmm. and what do they do? Like, how does that information get sent to where and who? So that sort of information can be connected automatically, and it's sent over 5G and the internet to wherever you need to send it to. It can be sent to governments, it can be sent to companies. Um, for example, police stations can monitor people jaywalking mm -hmm. or cars, traffic speeds. From security and data analytics to data use, Samsung has created a giant hotspot for when you're traveling in vehicles. We're in your 5G bus and we're about to enter 5G kiosk area. Yes. What does that mean? So what it is, is we're trying to solve the classic um, are we there yet now problem, actually. Mm. We think this is one of the key use cases that 5G can solve. And what we're showing here, we're entering a zone called the 5G kiosk. And it's a small area that a 5G network covers, but it gives you enormous download speeds so that you can instantaneously download any video or any upload anything you want actually very quickly in a moving vehicle. So think of it as a huge moving hot so hot, hot spot zone. And then you've seen So we've entered the zone. zone. And okay. if you can see, um, we've simulated three cars here actually. We've got three connected cars and they're all getting up to gigabit speeds and they're instantaneously downloading video. And as you can see, if you're not quick, the video is already downloaded. It's and finished. It's finished. Just so, like that. Just like that. Okay. That's what happened. With that blink and you miss it connection speed, download lag and buffering time will become a thing of the past. Sherry Kang, CNBC, Seoul. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.